All right, so we've created our internal boundary. We can go ahead and now make this a structural unit. So I'll say that it's a beam. Choose my location and then choose my boundary. Now you can see that we placed the outer boundary for that. To go ahead and subtract out that void, it's just as simple as doing a Boolean operation. And now we have the void that we need for this cross-sectional shape. Now, like the important part to understand is that we place all these lines down, it still feels like CAD, but this is the part where it becomes more of a parametric tool. So this arbitrary shape that we've just defined, uh, now we're able to flex it pretty easily. So I can just come in here and I can select some points and you can see now that I'm able to go ahead and uh, flex the structure quite easily. Same again with the, uh, the slope of it, just a matter of coming in here and flexing that as well. And so it's a really powerful tool. This is where it becomes unlike CAD and more like a parametric modeling tool and you're able to go and, and do things that you normally couldn't.